The current characteristics were measured at 300 Kelvin by means of a Keysight Technologies B1500's Semiconductor Parameter Analyzer. The devices were fabricated on silicon wafers. Atomic layer deposition was employed to deposit a 5 nanometer thick hafnium oxide layer. The top nickel electrode with a 200 nanometer thickness was deposited by magnetron sputtering. The device has been biased with a positive voltage with respect to the substrate, which was grounded. A forming process was performed and then different cycles with ramped voltages were measured. A three-dimensional grid is employed to simulate the device using a kinetic Monte Carlo algorithm. The mesh cell size corresponds with the size of a nickel atom. The three-dimensional Poisson and heat equations are solved in the dielectric for each simulation step using both Dirichlet and von Neumann boundary conditions. The cations are formed at the active electrode dielectric interface. The cations drift in the dielectric by means of the electric field. They are reduced when they get in touch with the inert electrode, forming clusters that form a percolation path. The forming process is over when the percolation path connects both electrodes. The reset process is produced because of the joule heating produced within the filament and the acceleration of the process involved in the nickel atom oxidation and the movement of these cations after their oxidation. After the reset process, a set process starts in the unipolar operation regime of these resistive rams. The filament is formed again using the broken filament as a starting point.